at the mayor's office 16 years ago, once you're a mayor. Jim Brewster served in the Senate, but he said, once you're a mayor, always a mayor. So my friend, Mayor Pete. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, Pennsylvania. How about the next second lady of the United States of America, Gwen Walls? I am so excited to be with you. I'm so, I never thought I could be this excited to be up this early after being up that late past my bedtime. But I can feel the energy in this party, in this room, in this country, and that is the energy that is going to propel us to victory in November. You know it. You are the center of the political universe right now. And can we count on you to turn out every single Pennsylvania vote? I know that we can, and I know that Americans will listen to the call if we reach out and find them. Because remember, the American people already share our vision of America. We just got to remind them of that. The American people already agree with us on issue after issue after issue. The American people already believe that it's the wealthy who are not paying their fair share and the middle class that needs a break, not the other way around. The American people already agree with us that in a free country, a woman makes her own health care decisions, not some politician, and you get to marry who you love and be who you are. The American people already agree with us that the best way to protect our children is not to ban books from their school libraries, is to keep guns out of their neighborhoods and make sure they're safe from gun violence. The American people are on our side. And it's not just the policies, it's not just the issues that people agree with us, it's results. Why would we want to go back to the higher crime rates of the Trump era? Why would we want to go back to the lower stock market, even for those people who think the economy is just the stock market? That's not how I say, see things, but for our conservative friends who do, remind them that the Dow Jones and the S&P was worse under the Trump administration. Remind your friends who think and care about energy policy and maybe their independence, maybe they're what I like to call future former Republicans. Remind them that we produce more energy in the United States of America under Biden-Harris than we did under Donald Trump. Why why would we want to go back? We're not going back. And more than that, we're just not going back to what it felt like to be an American in those years. Why would it was exhausting? I was exhausted, were you? Every time you looked at the news, it was punching you in the face. You don't have to be a true blue blooded Democrat to believe that we can do better than that. And Kamala Harris and Tim Walz are calling us to a better version of ourselves and a better kind of politics. That's why I take this message everywhere I go. Look, the last sentence I ever thought I'd be saying in my life is, I'm Pete Buttigieg, and you may recognize me from Fox News. <laughs> but we're taking that message everywhere because we do have the better vision and we have the better leaders. I believe in Kamala Harris. I believe in Tim. Here's something about Tim Walz. And I'm a little biased because I'm a fellow Midwesterner. But I have seen so many campaigns spend millions of dollars on consultants and commercials to try to make their candidates seem like the sort of person who would be a football coach and a teacher and a soldier in the National Guard. Tim Walz literally is that guy, and he's going to make a great Vice President of the United States. Especially when you compare him with the other guy. If you didn't care for the Trump-Pence show, you're really not going to love Trump-Vance. At least Mike Pence was polite. We don't need a, a vice president of the United States who thinks that people who don't have kids are childless cat ladies. I'm a dog guy with two kids, and I'm insulted by that. That's not how you talk about your fellow Americans. We definitely don't need a president of the United States who fact checkers assessed in his last press conference told 162 lies, misleading statements, or distortions. I don't know how he did that. I don't even more, mean morally. I just mean physically. I don't know how he did that. That is Olympic level lying. That is not what we need from the highest office in the land. We can do better. We will do better. With Kamala Harris, Tim Walz, Democrats up and down the ticket from your local races, to your extraordinary governor, Josh Shapiro, to Bob Casey, who we need back in the United States Senate. 
and all of the fantastic leaders. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for welcoming us here. We will see you on the trail early and often. Vote, vote, vote. We're going to need every single one of them. Thank you. Nice job managing the stage. Thank you.